Welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. My name is Danny Rocks. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to take advantage of pay special options. Pay special, you may ask? You're probably familiar with copying information or cutting information. When we cut or copy information, it resides on the clipboard, and from there, we can paste it into another cell, into another workbook, or even into another application, such as Word. But when we paste information, it doesn't always give us the results that we were looking for. Here's where Pay Special comes to the rescue. Let me illustrate. Over here in row 14, we have formulas that are summing the values in the column above for rent or for utilities, food and transport. What we want to do is take the information and have it reside now in another part of our worksheet, which we will then copy and paste into Word. We want an executive summary. So if we normally proceed by selecting it, right mouse click to copy, right mouse click to paste, those results that we get are not what we were expecting. It's an error. Let's undo it. Control Z. And now, while the information still resides on the clipboard, let's, instead of using paste, use paste special. And when we use pay special, what we can do is paste not the formulas, but the values. And when we click OK, now we have pasted the values over. That's partly what we wanted, because you're saying, I didn't get the formatting that I had in there. Well, another option within pay special, let's undo this, is to choose pay special not just values, but values and number formats, and click OK. And now everything turned out exactly the way we want it. We have copied over the values and not the formulas, and we've carried over the formatting. Now let's look at another example for executive summary. Over here, rather than saying equals average C2 through C13, we name the range C2 through C13 as utilities. So we don't have that same problem when we say copy and paste because though that named reference that we had over there. We use the named reference in our formula, so that's not a problem as we had when we were uh, copying over the formula that was directly looking up in that column. We have another problem, however. What we have over here in row B, or column B, is our information oriented vertically, and we want to have it in our executive summary oriented horizontally. Pay special will help us. Copy it. And over here, when we want to pay special, we choose transpose. And when we click transpose and OK, the information is copied over. We could do the same thing with our utilities and the highest amount, I should say. Copy it. And for our pay special, choose transpose and OK. And there we have it. Now, notice these. Um, sticky notes, these electronic sticky notes, they're called comments. If I want to apply those comments that I have in these cells into another cell in another range, while that information is still on the clipboard that contains the comments, I can come over here and say pay special comments and click OK. And now the comments that I had are copied over to the cells that I wanted. Another great reason to use pay special. While we're here, let's look at a couple of other things that we can do. For example, over here I have formatting, and I'd like to have that formatting copied over into other cells. Well, I can copy it, and over here I can choose to paste special, and choose not formulas, not values, but formats. Click OK, and there we have it. The formatting has been copied over. One other aspect of pay special is let's just say that we have a rent increase. Let's say that rent has gone to uh, 1175. Okay, and we copy that down. Now, all at once, the information that we have on our executive summary is out of date. Here's how we can use pay special to keep us up to date copy the cells with the formulas, and over here, when we do Paste Special, choose Paste the Link. 
And now what we have is we have a reference to the cell B14 that contains that formula. Copy the paste link and you see our information will always be up to date. So if our rent goes to 2000, God forbid, our executive summary will always be up to date because it's carrying over that information because we use paste special paste link. One more illustration of paste special values. Over here in this worksheet, we have a formula used combining text from first name, middle name, and last name to produce the full name. And we'll say, okay, we have the information we need for the full name. I can now get rid of columns A, B, and C. I no longer need them. And when we delete them, uh-oh, I guess I still did. Let's bring them back quickly, control Z. So before we can delete columns A, B, and C, what we need to do is transform our entries in column E from formulas into values. So let's select column E. And while we still have column E selected, choose Paste Special and choose Values, OK. And now we have, instead of uh, formulas, we have values. We have the results of the formulas. Now we can safely delete columns A, B, and C. OK. Now let me show you a couple of other reasons to use Paste Special. Come over here, over in this field, I have other operations for copying and pasting. Let's just say that I wanted to uh, double my my information over here. So my year-to-date sales, let's say that I wanted to have them increase uh, by double. If I put the number two over here and say copy and over here just to a part of this worksheet, say paste special you see these operations down here? If I wanted to multiply what's in this cell by 2, click OK, there you have it. I've automatically doubled my information. I don't recommend this because it's not leaving an audit trail behind, but nevertheless, it is an option. If you're doing a quick what if, it's a great way to see some information. We can control Z to get rid of it. So there you have an introduction to some of the elements of Pay Special. We'll see you in the next Tips and Time Savers.